I am amazed at what happens when I keep going, when I don't give up. I'm amazed at what happens when I do things, even if I'm not feeling it, quote unquote, or when I'm not motivated, or when I just don't feel like it. Um, so this week was a busy, busy week at work. We had a lot going on and I had e two evenings where I did training for our employees in China. And then I had some a mastermind class to prepare for and it's, it was a lot. But I also this weekend had one of my monthly webinars. And so this month we are we're talking about self-sabotaging. And so all week two on top of everything that was happening for work and my evenings, I also was having, I'm having like a sinus little thing where my throat is scratchy and I wake up every day, my throat is sore and I'm drinking tea. So every morning I push myself to be able to get on for work, get my work done, do the things I had to do that day. But the weekend comes and we all want to relax and not do anything. So last night around 10, 11 o'clock, I get my laptop out and I start practicing my webinar content for today's webinar. And this morning I roll out of bed and I go get my laptop and I sit in the bed and, <coughs> excuse me, I'm coughing now. Um, I practice my content for today's webinar because I've learned that it's not about how I'm feeling it's not about how motivated I am. It's not about having this all of a sudden energy. It's about just doing the thing that you said you were going to do without excuses, without all these reasons of why I shouldn't do it or, hey, I'm going to push this off because of this. Just do it. And so today, I just wanted to encourage you, just do the things you need to do and believe me, the motivation will come. The energy will come. Because when I started, um, 10 minutes before I started the webinar, I got some music playing for people who joined. And when I first started, I started to get a little more energy. And as I got through it, oh my gosh, my voice started to, to get better. And I had energy to get through it. And it was, it was wonderful. And it turned out to be a very effective webinar. But if I was inconsistent or if I was like, well, I had a bad week or I had a busy week and I'm just don't feel like doing it. You know how many people have been impacted by that? Probably four or five people. But do I know what impact I will have on their lives? I wouldn't know because I didn't do the thing I said I was going to do. So I just want to share that.